so last we have seen uh, how to use controllers and uh, in this session you will see how to use controllers uh, uh, and uh, we'll see how to use child and parent controller so let's call this uh, function that is uh, some function inside our view let's create a button over here input types equal to button value click me and call that function here by ng click predefined directive and write your function name here that is your sum function and pass the values for parameter number one and number two it will take two parameter num1 and num2 so i will pass two parameter like 100 comma 200 and close this so after calling this function ng click is equal to some function what it will do look for this function inside the controller which is cntrl inside the app l1 so at first it will go to l1 so here it will come yes it will come over here and now the associated controller which is cntrl it will go here and it will check it will find where is the function so it will go finally here and here it will call that function with two parameters that is number 100 and number two 200 and then it will compute the sum of those two numbers and store that value inside this uh, scope variable which is uh, scope dot total total so what we will do we will print this uh, scope variable total variable inside our view to display that uh, our function has been called and the value is returned so let's uh, use that variable total soldiers inside curly braces simply write t o t a l total so it will display the total number of soldiers i am assuming that that is uh, nothing but a number of soldiers so it will display welcome vikramaditya to more density than total soldiers is equal to the value which will be computed after calling this sum function will be here so let's print this in new line that is by using for that let's use br tag so that it will display in new line and now run this function okay so initially you can see that the total soldiers are zero why because we have already initialized that value inside our controller to zero that's why it is showing the soldier value initially to zero let's break use br tag here also so that it will display in next line so see so total soldiers is equal to zero so when we are going to click this button what it will do it will call this function sum and it will pass these value and after computing these value the value will be stored in total and that will be displayed in this uh, total variable inside my view so let's click this button click me and see what happens to the values of the total soldiers so now i'm clicking it and see the value changes to 300 so what exactly happened the moment i click the button it called the sum function it went there it with these values and after computing these values it assigns that sum total inside this value and that value i am using inside my view so it is showing me the total soldiers the updated value the earlier it was zero at the time of initialization but when i call that function the new value which came inside this variable was 300 so here it is showing 300 so in this manner we can call any function inside our controller in our angular js application so uh, now we will move to another interesting thing like uh, how to call controller within controller so let's see how to use inner controller for that i am writing my controller inside this controller so this controller which is written that is ng controller is equal to cntrl its uh, tag is div tag in this div tag i am using this controller so whatever i will write inside this div controller that will become my inner controller so let's create an another div 
and inside that div what i will do i will create another controller i will call another controller so for that i will simply write ng controller is equal to my parent controller is cntrl and here i am going to use cntrl child okay so let's write something within this controller to access the value of the controller let's write uh, hello i am child controller and here i will use some variable child okay. so what do i need to do is first you go and declare a controller named child controller inside your l1 module so let's copy this whole thing for the sake of simplicity mm -hmm. and make this as child cntrl child and delete all these stuff and make a variable child is equal to low whiskey remove this function as we are only bother about how to call that inner controller so i have already shown you how to call the function so so no to again uh, show you how to call that function in your child control the same things will be happen whenever you will call any controller so i am basically going to use this variable inside my child controller along with that uh, i am going to use my parent controller's variable that is i am going to use this variable inside my child controller hello i came from parent my name is here i will write king the variable which is uh, declared in my parent controller save it so what it will do when you will run the program it will simply do all the operations and inside this controller i have make another controller that is controller chld it will go and it will check that controller here it is and it will find that variable that is child and this this value will be computed inside this uh, scope variable so it will return hello fuski i am child controller and here what it will happen so here at what will happen that is it, this value the king value the variable which is defined inside the parent controller you can see so this value will be written over here that is this value will be hello i came from parent my name is king so inside king what will be there there will be vikramaditya okay so let's run this application save it and run it you can see this is our parent controller part that is welcome vikramaditya to more density if you click it will give you the value which it was giving earlier that is 300 let's click it 300 so these part are of parent controller and here i have used child controller inside the parent controller so hello fuski i am child controller so this value came from child controller which we have initialized in our child controller and this value hello i came from parent my name is vikramaditya you can see this value is coming from the parent variable that is parent controller so in this way we can use inner controller inside any controller so this is all about inner controller so what if we'll define these thing outside this controller let's check what happens okay so what we did is simply remove the child controller from the parent controller and let's check what happened now what's going to happen what it is showing let's refresh this page so see and nothing is working like uh, hello child i'm child controller hello i came from parent my name is king why it is not working because the moment we split our code we removed this child controller part outside this parent controller we have also 
separated the code from ng app the thing is that whatever you will write that should be within this tag so this is the root tag for uh, using any angular js application so whatever you will do that should be inside this so what i'm going to do now i'm going to put this ng controller inside another div so let's do that okay and let's make it as a parent so now you can see the ng app l1 the whole scope is beneath this between the this tag so in this tag whatever we'll write that will be understandable to angular now it will be able to find that yeah what is ng controller and what is these double braces means to what happened earlier this part was only limited to this div only so there was no access inside this div so it was unable to find out what it is exactly so let's run this again so now you can see the child controller variable that is fuski is still working but the parent controller which was earlier working is no more visible why that because it is not accessible that is another controller and this is another controller so this is all about inner controller so in this way it could be called controller 2 okay let's uh, keep all those codes and make a separate file for showing this thing the other part is multiple controls the example which i showed earlier that was nothing but multiple controller so let's keep both the code make it controller 2 hello 2 i am isolated let's define this controller c and trl2 zimmy jimmy so here you can see this is my ng app and this is my controller one that is cntrl inside this controller i have used child controller so this is this this whole thing is called how to use inner controller here i am accessing the child variable as well as parent variable and i have also made another div and used another mm -hmm. controller which is totally isolated from controller and controller child so if i will access these variable inside this controller so it won't be it won't allow me to access those so let's run this so see hello i came from parent my name is vikramaditya hello fuski i'm a child controller hello jimmy i am isolated so this is isolated so if i'm going to use the child controller's value then it won't allow me let's run see it's not coming so this is all about uh, how to use a controller inside your javascript angular js application and uh, how to use inner controller and how to use uh, multiple controller and how to declare that how to call function how to use variables so in this manner we can uh, use the controller for our angular js application so in this uh, session we have seen that uh, how to use controller child and parent and in our next session we will see uh, what is events in angular js